Central Agenda Program. Um, our aim has been one, and we always state it clear, uh, bridging the gap between the MPs and their constituents, and also letting constituents understand the perfect role of the basic or core mandate of uh, an MP, thereby making contributions in Parliament indirectly. I am very lucky today to meet with one of the few women representatives in Parliament, and Wishy, I'll let you introduce yourself. You're welcome, madam. Thank you, my dear. Uh, your name, your position, your constituency, uh, constituency you are representing. Thank you. Um, Honorable Mrs. Mavisa Wakumsen, MP for Awutu Senior East Kaswa, to be precise, in the central region. Oh, okay. Uh, the, my constituency is from we share boundary with Amam Frum, that's Greater Gang West, mm -hmm. and they share boundary with uh, the Gumwa East. Mm. That is from Amam Frum to Budumbra. Okay. On your way to Cape Coast, from Accra to Cape Coast, mm. that's our boundary. Then from the traffic light to Nyenyano, Kakraba, we share boundary with the Gumwa East too. And then when you take the northern part to mm. from the traffic light to Obum, mm. we share boundary with Ga, okay. south to the. That is that is very wide. You must be a tough woman. Very very <laughs> tough. <laughs> because it wasn't easy for me during the campaign. I had to go run, that, and I was fortunate. The constituency was uh, divided oh, okay. when they created the new. Mm. constituencies and then the district. Okay. If not, we used to go from Kaswa to Aguna area. Yeah, okay. We're sharing boundary with Aguna mm. East. That is uh, Nyakukwa in okay. the far west oh, okay. of the constituency. Okay, yeah. but that, that's good and I believe you are doing a great job. I mean, looking at how you've uh, explained and showed us the jurisdiction of uh, <laughs> your operation. Um, let's go straight to the point. We will want to find out from you, as a member of parliament, your role. Yeah, as a member of parliament, basically our role is to make laws mm. for the country, help the government to run mm. the country, and also lobby for development for our constituency. We are the mouthpiece of our people mm. in our constituency as an MP. As an MP, that's yeah. what you do. And in the parliament there too, do you have any responsibility apart from uh, the laws and checking responsibilities? Of yes, we have. We have a lot of responsibilities. Like we, we are putting mm. on a Community, uh, committees, okay. uh, committees. I'm serving on two committees, which is uh, the committee for lands and forestry, oh, okay. and then gender. Mm. Uh, with the lands of and forestry, we attend to the problems facing the natural resources in the country, mm. moving from district to district attending to their problems. Mm. For instance, this Galamse issue mm. that cropped up recently, we had to go as far as to the north, mm. upper east region, mm. to see the Galamse area, talk to them, and then the forest reserve. We went there, we went to Moli, we went to Damango, to see the problems there and also bring the feedback to government on how to solve those problems. Oh, that's great. Um, but um, what uh, survey we conducted uh, within your constituency, not only your constituency, looking at all the MPs in the constituency, when we spoke with the people on the ground, they seem not to understand the role of an MP, because we had most of them telling us that the role of an MP is to construct road, is to build schools, build hospitals, provide for their basic needs, and all those ones. That's why I asked the question, you know, <laughs> why do you think the constituents have, have such uh, minds, uh, they, 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 they are pregnant with the information that that's the role of an MP? Yes, I think I don't blame our people so much. 
it's lack of education mm. and sometimes we the contestants when we come out mm. the way we make noise when i come i'll construct this i'll mm -hmm. do this but basically it's not the responsibility mm. of the mp to mm. construct a road so if i problem. understand you very well uh, the constituent have this information because of how uh contestants or uh, candidates uh, present their manifesto that when, when you vote for me i'll build schools i'll construct rules is, is that what you're saying yes yes and i'm saying that i, I don't blame them too but well, sometimes when you go out for their campaigning mm. you know you are coming in with your government mm. in your, your your party being in power automatically if your party is in power you have the upper hand you can bring in a whole lot of development and you mm -hmm. claim you have done it even though it is your party that uh, your government that is doing so that is why i think sometimes when we go out for uh, this campaigning we always present ourselves that uh, when we come we'll construct the road me for instance i made that promise that we have a problem here this okrudu mm -hmm. guy uh, in my constituency when it rains it's very terrible there will be floods all over in the mm. community and uh, you see homes and other things so i told them that when i come to power mm. with the aim that my government or my party is coming into mm. power and truly i remember when kufo very well but don't you think that it's about time um uh, parliamentarians or uh, aspiring parliamentarians stopped uh, those promises knowing very well that that's not their role so when they get to the people tell them the truth this is what i have to do as an mp don't you think uh, we have to put a stop to that yes my dear we have to put a stop to that but then since the MP is the agent for development, you have in mind that you go out there and lobby for your people. Mm. So maybe it's the way we present it. Mm. Let the people know that when you vote for me, I'll lobby for development in this constituency. That is how we should present But we shouldn't say, I will do it. Mm. As if you have all the powers to do it. No, we don't have all the powers. When you even go to the uh, minister and the government does not authorize him to do it, he cannot do it on his own unless it passes through so many uh, roads before it comes to mm. power. What, yeah. what, what was your campaign message? My campaign message mm. <laughs> yes, my campaign message one was to lobby for development in the constituency, to fight for women because we've seen that in the country or in this constituency mm. women are suffering and I think, so. yes <laughs> women are underprivileged in the community so we think when we, we we the women are also there we can fight for mm. our colleague women and then that will help us uh, build the nation because without the women the nation can never be well built because it's the women who attend to children who attend to uh, men everything is women is centered on women even in the bible we heard about women the role they play sure. so if you have women okay. in those areas i think it will also help now it, it looks as if there is so much pressure on mps parliamentarians and how would you want to ease such uh, pressure hmm. it's a problem after the pressure is there apart from the issue of school fees the issue of uh, people coming in with their personal problems you understand but when they come you cannot say you're not listening to them because they are the people who voted for you so if you cannot do it you just have to explain to them and also the issue of development i think it's high time we let the people or the electorate know that it is not the mp who does those development mm. he or she goes in to lobby for when it comes fine but if it doesn't come the mp should not be blamed because our uh, salary cannot do those things our common fund you and i know that we cannot use our common fund to put up a school mm. building these days especially in the basic school if you want to have a very good basic structure for the basic schools you need about eight classrooms with a computer lab a laboratory and then the staff common room for the teachers and then uh, washrooms and other things those facilities and the mps common fund alone cannot do that unless the government comes in so we need to let our people know our limits mm -hmm. what we can do for and them how do you think we can let them know 
what is the way forward? I, I think this is what we have started with. What we are doing, you are doing with me now, when we come out and tell them they will understand us. Sure. When you also help us by educating the masses to know the role of the MP. Mm. Uh, I remember when the minister for urban roads came, he was telling me, Madam, I went to my constituency, he's also an MP, he went to his constituency and somebody was asking him about road construction. And he told them that, are you asking me this question, my capacity as the Minister for Urban Rules or my capacity as the MP? If it is the MP, I will tell you no, I cannot construct it. But if it is the Minister for Urban Rules, that one I can answer you. So I think it's high time we educate our people. They should rather give us the advice how we can go about our lobbying okay. to bring in development. That one will help us than bringing unnecessary pressure on us. For 10 months now, our common fund has not come, and people will come in with school fees as high as 1,800 Ghana CD. 1,800, if you are paying school fees for one person, 1,800. Look at the number of people in Kaswa. We have uh, about 82,000 registered members in Kaswa. Mm -hmm. And the population of Kaswa is over 200,000. So if people should, everybody should come. Mm -hmm. I mean, half of these people should even come to you with their problem. Can you solve it so for you them? So think this, this is a correct platform? It is a very good platform to, to, for us. It's a very okay. good platform for um, us. That's uh, Honorable Mavis Hawa Kumsin. We've been talking about how we can do away with this perception that constituent have about MPs. And again, also looking at the fact that MPs wouldn't mount the, 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 the platform to tell them things that they can't do. That is our mission here. And finally, do you have anything to say uh, to tell your constituent, finally? Yes. What I have to tell them is I love them, mm. I care for them, mm. and I also thank them for allowing me to present them or represent them mm. at the parliament. Mm. I also want them to know that all that I can do within my means mm. to lobby for development for the constituency. Mm. Like I said earlier on, our major problem here is about the drainage and then the rules. I'm going to do it by God's grace. And I also need their prayers. Mm -hmm. Whenever they go to pray, they should remember me and say a word of prayer mm -hmm. for me so, so that I can, I can do better, better in the constituency. Anytime you sleep, when you say a prayer, say one for Honorable Mavis Hawa Kumsin. Yes. Madam, thank you so very much. And, thank you. Uh, you are representing uh, Ewutu? Ewutu Senya East, Kaswa. Kaswa. And like I said, a Central Agenda Program, Coastal Television, uh, powered by Star Ghana. That is our mission. We are going on to constituency, talking to MPs. But our ultimate aim is to making sure that constituent understands the role of an MP. MPs getting closer to their constituents, so together we have a deepened democracy.